station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. 2016 is off and running, and two crew members are gearing up for the year's first spacewalk. NASA's Tim Coper and ESA's Tim Peake spent the week checking out spacesuits and building tools for a spacewalk coming up on January 15th. The pair will be replacing a voltage regulator that failed back in November 2015, which will return the station back to full power. And humans aren't the only ones working outside the International Space Station. The robotic refueling mission continued this week with the station's Canada Arm 2 robotic arm and Dexter robot working in the vacuum of space. This complex technology demonstration is testing the tools and techniques that could one day enable robots to refuel, repair, and upgrade satellites in space. And there was no shortage of science inside as well. Astronaut Tim Peake put on his physics hat to work with the Advanced Colloids Experiment Heated 2. This complex study monitors the formation of 3D crystalline structures from samples of colloids, which are collections of microscopic particles in a solution. Sounds really complicated, so why is understanding this important? Because colloids are actually found in many products we use every day here on Earth, including fuels, household cleaners, even food. Knowing the process behind their formation can help in the development of new and better products and materials. This week's Twitter question comes from Zach, who wanted to know if any new high-tech stuff recently arrived on station. Well, Orbital ATK Cygnus delivered a new device that's straight out of science fiction. NASA's Project Sidekick is using Microsoft's new HoloLens technology to empower astronauts on the station like never before. It will use virtual reality to give crew members real-time instructions and assistance, whether it comes from someone on the ground following along or from built-in holographic illustrations for whatever project they're tackling. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.